the issues we are solving are really huge. Pilot Light is uh, actually a small foundation, but uh, we did not uh, fear the, the issues and avoid to venture with our partners. We always say there's no formula for the work that we do, that we have a general formula, but we tweak it for each project depending on the needs of that particular group. As in all of our projects, we work in the revolving funds to help grow and sustain their businesses without the need to keep asking for further funding. Right now we have seven projects that are in different stages. Some we've been working on for five years or less and others as little as just under a year. And we also have two brand new projects that are still in the development phase. The Honey Project in Northern Uganda is just ending its first year. This is a, an organization supporting children who were in captivity of uh, Lord Resistance Army of Kony. So this can mean child soldiers, it can mean soldier wives, which are really girls who were kidnapped and forced into sex slavery, as well as the children born of these girls, children orphaned by the LRA, or even in our project we have some adults who were kidnapped by the LRA and traumatized significantly, who suffer from PTSD or mental illness as a result of that. You have a teenager who is the head of a household uh, and can have many siblings. One of the kids that we visited is a young man named Charles who is taking care of four younger brothers. Both of his parents were kidnapped by the Lord's Resistance Army and they were so heavily traumatized that upon being rescued or escaping, the mother took off and disappeared and the father is too mentally ill to be able to take care of anybody. So these guys are just left on their own. Charles and his brothers some days have nothing more than cabbage to eat. The children have been left alone. They've been fending for themselves alone. And today when we visited them, they have not had any meal since morning. They have no food. We are supporting them to improve the livings in their homes through the beekeeping program. So that they are able to, to begin generating income. So once we, the honey is harvested, it's supposed to be sold, and it will be able to give them some income in their households who help take care of the, the really basic, basic needs. Honestly, they've done great work. They're only children, but you can see what they have done. We supported them with the improved beehives and the trainings. This program will help more than 50 families in the northern Uganda. Although the hives are up and colonizing at the moment, they are not yet bringing an in income from the sale of honey, and that will take some more months before that starts to happen. So in the meantime, we realize that we have to have this emergency fund to provide necessities like food in the meantime for these households. 